Vercel just dropped Next.js 16, which makes TurboPack the default bundler while keeping support for Webpack as an opt-in flag. Cache components are the brand new hotness and the stable way to do partial pre-rendering and caching but in a more composable way. Now, rather than needing to decide at a route level whether the entire page is static or dynamic, individual components can also do dynamic things like fetching data or authenticating a user, while the rest of the page can be statically generated at build time, heavily cached, and even prefetched by the router during client-side navigations. This concept has been applied to caching as well, where each page, component, or function can choose to cache the content it requires. This means Next.js now assumes everything is dynamic unless you specifically mark it as static, which I think a lot of developers are gonna be very happy about. Lastly, Vercel wants Next.js to work seamlessly across any deployment platform and are launching specific adapters to make the experience as good as it is on Vercel.